The Secret World is a massively multiplayer online game set in the real, modern-day world, where every myth, legend, and conspiracy is true. In this world, you get to explore locations such as New York, London, Egypt, Transylvania, New England, and beyond. As you progress through the game, you will unravel mysteries, collect awesome loot, engage in massive PvP, and perhaps most importantly, develop a character that is completely unique to your style. The Secret World has no classes or levels. Instead, it gives you more than 500 unique abilities that you can use to create the type of character that you want to play. One minute you're combining powerful chaos magic with brutal fist weapons, stunning your enemies before ripping them to shreds with claws of steel. And the next, you're keeping your teammates alive with powerful blood magic. At the same time, you're holding the forces of darkness at bay with your assault rifle. All abilities in the game can be found in the ability wheel. Here, they are organized into three main categories, melee, magic, and ranged. These groups are again divided into nine types of weapons. Blades, hammers, fist weapons, blood magic, chaos magic, elementalism, shotguns, pistols, and assault rifles. Though you can potentially learn all the abilities in the wheel, you can only use two weapons at a time and bring seven active and seven passive abilities into combat. These 14 abilities put together is called a build. And the trick is to find good combinations that also allow you to play the character the way you want to. Think of it almost like playing with a deck of cards. You have a vast collection to pick from and you pick 14 of these that will allow you to execute your strategy. Choosing abilities which work well together is an important part of making good builds. If you knock down an enemy with one attack and then use another ability which does increased damage on knockdown opponents, the two abilities have good synergy together. There are many ways to find synergies within the ability wheel. You can concentrate on abilities which hinder, impair, afflict, or weaken or you can specialize on attacks of a certain type, like chains, bursts, strikes, frenzies, focus, or blasts. Another important piece of character development is the skill system. You earn skill points the same way you earn new abilities, but use them to improve your skills, to be able to equip better talismans and weapons. Developing skills also gives you yet another strategic choice because each weapon lets you develop two different sets of bonuses. For example, if you develop your blade skill, you can choose whether to increase your damage or survivability. This way, you can use skills to define the sort of character you want to play. Whether you will be a defensive master, healing machine, or offensive steamroller. If you want to engage enemies from a distance, you can, for example, use abilities which focus on hindering and slowing them down while shooting from range. As an example, here we are using a build combining the assault rifle with the shotgun. First, we open the fight with a powerful Shell Shocker Elite ability. This snares the enemies, slowing them down while we keep moving around and create distance. We also build ranged resources on the enemies. Another great strategy is to use the acrobatic backflip to escape harm before showering the enemies in a rain of bullets. All the abilities in this build have synergy around hindering. The passive abilities augment the active ones by adding useful bonuses like increased chance for critical hits or extra damage over time, making all the abilities fit together in beautiful synergy. You face so many different monsters and challenges in the secret world that no build is perfect everywhere. That's why it's smart to develop many different abilities to handle different situations. You can make builds to tackle new types of enemies, 
or even make a build tailor-made for a specific dungeon boss. It's also very easy to swap between different builds in the secret world. You just bring up your character sheet. Here, you can save your builds and swap between them as often as you like. When you load a new build, it automatically equips the save gear and abilities, and in an instant, you have redefined your character and you're ready for new challenges. Next, we're heading over to Egypt to explore a dark and dangerous dungeon known as the Ankh. At the very end of this dungeon, players will have to face a giant corrupted mummy, and we're going to look at the different ways this encounter can be handled. The most obvious thing to try first is probably taking him head on. We quickly find out, however, that the best thing to do is keep distance to this particular enemy. So, using what we've learned before, we easily swap to new weapons and abilities appropriate for the situation using our gear manager. Next, we're using a build that combines elementalism magic with a shotgun to create hard-hitting attacks which focus all their strength on a single target. The synergy in the build centers on strike attacks and on increasing the damage of critical hits. The result is all 14 abilities working together to deal maximum damage. Here, we let loose the devastating spell Thor's Hammer. It hits with awesome power and does a crushing critical hit because of all the synergy between the abilities being used, such as when firing off the lethal raging bullet finishing strike attack. The strength of the game is its depth and diversity, and how it allows you to customize your character and your own experience while developing unique builds that fit your strategy and the encounters that you end up in. You can even make builds for group or solo play, or make specialized ones for player versus player combat. You can dominate in war zones by quickly chasing down other players and trapping them with crafty spells. In the secret world, you can be whatever you want to be and play however you want to play. <laughs>